What's going on, my pretty pandas? It's your Huggable Hipster here, and welcome back to Amnesia, the Dark Descent, where I have yet to die, but I think it's only because of my stupid naivety and the fact that I don't know what's going to make me die. It's, it's probably going to be a lack of consciousness. Oh. Oh! I'm here somewhere. Somewhere I'm here. Okay, I'm not going to go over there because that's just a bucket full of milk. The sand gave way to his tired body as he fell from the camel's back. He felt the wind gently sweep across his face and his dry, crusted lips. Well, that's an image for you, if anything. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, the wind swept across his face and his dry, crusted lips. Oh, good lord. Well, all right, I'm going to go back over here because we have to go over to the wine cellar. Yes, we have to go to the wine cellar. And I'm going to go down here to the wine cellar because I want some wine. <laughs> My throat is hurting me so much from the screaming and all of the stuff that I did. And Emily wants to play. Okay. Because and Emily wants to play too. The second video that's coming out today. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. Just, just wait till you see it. Just wait till you see it. Oh. It was done, the men said. The tomb had been revealed. Tin Hinen Hinen Hinan 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 awaits the something something something. Okay. Beware when standing in the darkness your sanity will slowly drain. Turn on lights and leave. Uh, you're meant to use tinder boxes. Okay. But I Oh god. I don't have any tinder boxes. Oh. Okay. Where did the baron go? Who cares? He left us in a wine to last us a lifetime. Yeah. Or at least until tomorrow. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Okay. Ooh, what's that? Picked up the cube right. Oh, yay. Okay, I turned on some lights. Good. All right, where, where am I supposed to go? Okay, keep that door open just in case, but we're gonna go over here and see what other mess we can get ourselves into. Oh, what is that? Okay, I'm gonna, no, I can't pick that up. Okay, do I have anything else? <gasps> I do, I have two of them. Woohoo, take, oh no, I'm just gonna throw it at, bam. Yeah, feather flew out of there. Oh, oh, is that another candle? Is that, a yes, it's a tinder books. I like tinder boxes. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go out of this place. And we're gonna see what else is in here. What the frick? Oh, I don't like that sound. I'm gonna have to go in there. Wow. There's stuff in here. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, it feels like my chest is going to burst. <laughs> Oh my god! Wilhelm, do something! What is that? Except Willem's last words. My name is Willem, House of Garrick. These are my final words. My confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the castle Brennenberg. As most of the aristocracy, I was curious about what the supposed knight of the order could want from me and accepted the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sorted, and the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honors I had been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. Healthy humans upon his slightest whim and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position with noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with this decision, but it came swiftly as I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I brought men, women, and children to Brandenburg, and I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and the men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. And the wine tasted fine, and the men drank without restraint. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, you're giving them free wine. Of course you're going to drink without restraint. So it begins a punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak. I fell into his diabolical ways. My men were screaming, their skin had been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes, 
and I can no longer. We're not getting out of here. Okay. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> Oh. So were they doing like, um, you know, human testing or something like that? I don't know. Definitely an interesting plot line. I'm definitely loving the story. Oh, what is this? Okay, picked up uh, Aqua Rina. Ooh. I have no idea what anything I'm supposed to do is. I, I, I have no idea. But I'm intrigued. I'm, I'm incredibly intrigued. You see, I like the part of the game where you have to stay in the light in order to uh, regain your sanity, which I think is a really cool thing. I mean, like, it's a really neat concept that you have to withhold to. I don't like the, the, the ugh, if an enemy is near, stay out of sight and hide. What? What? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're joking, right? You're joking. Okay, I'm just gonna go over here. I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm really not here. Where do I hide? Who's coming for me? What is that? Picked up a lot of them. Oh, no, you didn't. What is that? What is that? Why is that? Use a lot to increase your health. Drink it. Okay, uh, tap. Oh, nice. I like that. That is really cool. All is good. <laughs> it just says all is good. <laughs> all is good. Sanity. Dot, dot, dot. Me, though. Your sanity is now dangerous. They'll make sure to stay in the light and try to make progress. Oh, no. My sanity is so low. I don't know what's going to happen to me. I'm, like, sideways right now, dude. Ooh, I don't know what to do. Are those heads... I think there might be stones instead of heads. Man, my mom would kill for a wine cellar like this. Holy moly. What's our objective down here? Are we just supposed to find creepy things that make us want to wish we were never playing this game? How are you supposed to know when an enemy is coming? I like that you can't um, directly know when an enemy is near, which is cool. That's exactly what used to happen in Resident Evil, the original game, which I liked because they didn't give you like a clear... Thing of or music uh, signaling when an enemy was coming by. You just had to guess and you really had to know the game. You really had to pay attention. And I like that. Oh, and that's the door that wouldn't open before. Okay, I got you. I got you, dude. I got you. So, um, where to now? <laughs> Alright, where am I supposed to go? Help me out here. Some sort of organic tissue blocks a path to the refinery. Can it be dissolved? Oh, wait a second. I think I know what he's talking about. I think I might know. Um, we're gonna go back out here because there was a door on the other side of this one that I want to check out. The cloth smelled of desert and damp musk. The pieces lay scrambled on top. Too many of them, he thought, or perhaps too few. God, the writing is so good. This writing is so poetic. It's so elegantly done. I absolutely love it. Okay, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Your sanity, your sanity, your sanity. Oh, your sanity. Looks like the walls are breathing. You, you need to fix that. <laughs> the walls are definitely breathing. Oh, this is so cool. I really am enjoying this game so much. It's so much fun. I like this a lot. Alright, I'm going to turn this on because, you know, kind of need to do that. And, uh, huh? uh, there should be more Kubrat. Let me see, let me see. And one part, Aqua Fortis. Okay, cool. What's this note? The lack of chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I'll do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. Four different chemicals. Oh, so wait a second. This is what we need to do in order to, um... Uh, to remove that, like, nasty, goopy stuff and everything like that. Okay. So, cuprite. I'm guessing you pour them into here. Four different chemicals are needed to continue. Okay. Oh, God. What? 
first did I do? I did it now, Ariel. Oh, what is this? Picked up the chemistry pot, okay. This is my third attempt to produce an artificial vitae. Four compounds lack the potency I need, but I sent them close. Calamine and orpiants are given, and the carbide binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua arena instead of aqua fortis, in hopes it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acidic. I'm sorry, highly acid. I just, I, yeah, never mind. You don't. You know me, girl, okay? I, I, I gamble. I gamble. <laughs> I put in what's necessary grammatically. Even before reading, I just put in what's needed or grammatically. Grammatically, not gram. Wow, I can't even talk today. Thick tissue reacts especially violently to a solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use a recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my- Oh, okay, so I, I can't use that there. One, two, three, so I need to use, so I need to get the fourth one and I'm guessing that's back in the wine cellar. So let's go back over to the wine cellar and make a. Oh, that was a bug at me. Yuck. What? What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? The stairs have collapsed. Find a way to climb back up. What? Okay. Oh, those stairs have. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, lovely. Lovely. I can't climb up through there. No? I don't know why I'm gonna need all this oil, but oh wait, I think you have to do like, <laughs> I think you have to be like um, miles up shore from Outlast and just climb up and uh, shimmy shammy your way through and jump. Oh no, I can't do that. I'm gonna impale myself if I do that. And the one thing that actually I saw that I would like to try is the Amnesia custom games that was made uh, by different fans. So that's one thing that you guys can expect from me is a Amnesia custom story. Sanity. A slight headache. Okay. Health. All is good. Wait a second. Can I use this? Oh my god, you can use objects to recharge in places. Oh my gosh. Okay, oh, wait. Oh, I just automatically leaned that up against the wall. Oh my god, I did something without even knowing I did it. <laughs> That's great. Okay. I, like, when I threw it, I just automatically just tossed it and landed right where I needed to be find the ingredients necessary to uh, make our concoction so we can get through the icky gicky goo goo. After enduring three days at Algiers, a sailboat was finally arranged to take him across the Mediterranean Sea to the Grabaltar, having reached the British... Okay, fine, thanks. Right, I'm gonna just run because I, I need to find that thingamabob. Oh, you have a candle still lit. How lovely. One more. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, now that I made a mess of the place, I can go. Okay, where? And the. How? And I threw you across the room. How did you make it back there so soundly? Like a, a, a thing here that I can use to. Oh, is that it? I'm guessing that's it. I am guessing that must be it. Pick up the number. That definitely is it because a trigger happens in the game. Yay! I found the last one! Oh, goodness me! Something is happening! What am I ever supposed to do? Oh, God. I'm sorry, what? What did you say? What did you say? What did you- what did you say? Um, I need to get up there. Darn it. Can I use a chair this time? Hey, I'm sorry I used and abused you, but can I can I use you? Hold left mouse while moving the left stick to push up. Right mouse for a strong push direction you face. Okay. How is someone coming? Do you have like an extra spidey sense about you? I actually stop it off here because I've been trying for like the past 10, 12 minutes to get past that barrier that you guys saw and I was like, yeah, okay, I might have to stop it off here for right now. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Amnesia The Dark Descent. I think we're starting to really get into the spoopy parts of it. I'm really understanding now how the game is working and how everything is supposed to flow within, even though I know that things are gonna just like snap to crazy any second. I feel like for at least a small portion of the game, I have reality under control here. I know I compared it to Layers of Fear, but this is so much more intense 
and just a lot more immersive than Layers of Fear. Layers of Fear was a great psychological small game that was really intense in its own way and own right, but this just has a whole new level of crazy to it that I absolutely love. But I will talk to you guys in the next video. If you guys like my face and what I do, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell down below because I make videos every damn day. Stay casually nerdy, you guys, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Peace.